Hello again! And I'm Zach Attack. Welcome to the inaugural episode of a new series. Of a new new series. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Tongue twister. I call this show Attack Sports. I've been individualizing my sports and wrestling and entertainment news for the last week. Separating my preview videos from the attack line. And now there's the ultimate separation. Doing a separate sports show now. The attack line will mostly be about entertainment from now on, movies, music, and DJing. This show, Attack Sports, will be all about sports. And we're kicking off this inaugural edition of the new series, Attack Sports, with NFL news, starting with news on your Detroit Lions. I live in Detroit, but I'm a Bears fan, so it's kind of weird and cool at the same time to see the Bears lose to the Lions. Of course, uh, I didn't see the game because I was like, gig, but I listened to it on line, but, uh, God, the Bears played sloppy. Three interceptions? Because the Bears withheld the Lions to a field goal in the first quarter, but then the second quarter, the interception started and the Lions started scoring. I thought the Bears were going to catch up and beat the Lions in the second half, like the Lions always do. Lose heavily in the first half, then lose in the second half. They almost did. But by the time the Bears catched up, or almost had a chance to win, they were seconds away from losing. It was 32-40. Besides that, the rest of the games were fucking blowouts. <laughs> Broncos beat the hell out of the Eagles. Big blowout there. With uh, I did see the bit of that game, 52 to 20. Damn, another great day for Peyton. Like the Broncos are big Super Bowl contenders. And boy, oh boy, that that game proved they just destroyed the Eagles. I'm glad the Giants lost again. <laughs> I hate the Giants. I like pain, but I hate Eli. So I'm glad Eli lost again. 0-4 oh, for the Giants. I love it. Another kind of a blowout was uh, the uh, another big game that was on. Indianapolis destroyed Jacksonville. I see that score now. And uh, the Monday night game tonight, I don't know who's playing tonight. Oh, it's Miami New Orleans. <laughs> They're both three and all that that's interesting. But anyway, uh the Monday night the Sunday night game, New England Patriots beat the Falcons. I did see a little bit of that game, but I'm glad the Pats came back at Atlanta. So now the Pats are four and oh. Broncos are four and oh, that's be huge AFC news. And also Dallas loses to New San Diego. That was a tight game until San Diego took charge. Pun the pun, because the team is called the Chargers. Anyway, that's uh my views on what I saw on the uh, week four. God, I like the Steelers too. And to see the Steelers 0 4. And now with the Lions beating the Bears, Bears are no longer first place in AFC North. Well, they still are. They're tied with the Lions. Lions play the Packers next week. And the Bears play. I forgot who they're playing next week. Who are the Bears playing next week? New Orleans too. So, in New Orleans, maybe 4 0. After the night against Miami. Now, on with uh, Wesley News. Now, before I get to my wall preview for tonight, which is on this show, not a separate video like I've been doing for the preview videos, uh, get some news on, of course, the man who I hope will become the WWE champion, truly the, the undisputed champion this Sunday at Battleground. Yes, Daniel Bryan. Now, all of the ring, out of the ring, he's, of course, dating one of the Bella Trends. Well, I should not be saying dating. Should we saying engaged? He's engaged to one of the Bellas. Brie Bella. They got engaged over the weekend. Confirmed the E! News, of course, the official home of the Total Divas. And they proposed, uh, Daniel proposed on September 25th, last week. Where they went on a hike on Big Sur, California. So, uh, Brie said Daniel Bryan was very nervous to engage during the proposal. It was a cute engage, and Nikki's very happy for Brie getting engaged to Daniel Bryan. I don't know when the wedding is, and it's a cool little ring. So congrats to Brie and Daniel for their engagement. Now, on with the wall preview for tonight, the Go Home Show before Battleground. Man, well, days from it, and we have no not much matches yet. We need to add more matches. And leading up to our top four questions that must be answered tonight. Question number four. What will happen with Big Show? How will he be humiliated even further? He's been kind of forced to do things with Stephanie because of this breach of contract. We've seen him knock out Dusty Rhodes by force. He was forced to knock out Miz during Miz TV last week. 
We'll see what Big Show's be put through tonight in this sad little storyline they're putting him through with Stephanie. Question number three. What will happen in the debut of Los, Los Metadors? I mean, Primo and Epico. The newly repackaged Primo and Epico will make their debut tonight as Los Matadors. They've been promoted for the last few weeks. I hope they live up to the hype. Not the biggest hype. I think it's like the second biggest hype for a new team since uh, Wade Bryant. So we'll see what happens there. Wade Bryant. Uh, question number two. Will any new matches be made for Battleground? Boy, they need to. We all read the Alberto. In an Extreme Rules match for the world title. D. Bryant Orton for the WWE title. Hopefully there's some stipulation in there. Why back against CM Punk? Maybe that feud will heat up tonight. And I'm hearing a big six-man tag match can be made tonight, and of course the pregame as well. And a possible six-man that will lead to my next question, and question number one. What will go down tonight when the Rhodes family shows up? Now, Goldust and Cody have been, of course, Cody got fired. We saw what happened. Goldust trying to fight for his and Cody's job. We saw what happened two weeks ago with Dusty being forced to choose one of his sons. He didn't do that. That was when Big Show was forced to knock out Dusty. So now all three worlds at the Gold Dust and Cody bum rushed wall last week to attack the Shield before their 11 on 3 handicap match last week. They're now on water night to make a deal that could lead to a possible six man tag with Dusty, Cody, and Gold Dust against the Shield at Battleground. We'll see if that comes to tuition tonight on wall at 8 7 Central on USA Network. That is it for Attack Sports. See you later for my wall review tonight. With that in mind, you've all been attacked by the Sports News. Thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. Yeah.